I ain't want none. I just kind of tell you I was back, bitch. <laughs> What's up? It's yours truly, Ari, and I'm back with another vloggy vlog. All right, y'all. I know it's been a couple weeks. A lot has went down over the last two weeks, and I'm here to share it all with you. Currently, I'm in the car with my children right now, so please don't mind any whining or any crazy sounds in the background that's just them having a good old time i just stopped by popeyes and picked lonnie up some popeyes because that's what she was craving so don't judge me okay my baby wanted some popeyes that's what she gonna get okay anyways what's been going on where have i been let's catch you guys up so recently my children's father he has gotten incarcerated i'm not exactly sure why there are no details on the case and that's where we just came from right now actually we just came from visitation just to see, see if he's all right if he needs anything things like that um but right now we are currently awaiting a trial nobody has told me anything so i'm not exactly sure why he's locked up i'm not sure about anything yet so as soon as i get details i will let you guys know everything of course um so that's one thing that's been going on in the last couple of weeks another thing which is so crazy to me but of course i want to share it with you guys is one day coming from a visitation to see their father my house was on fire can see these are live pictures. This fire is being called the Edge Hill Fire. We do know San Bernardino County Fire. They have been on this fire. They are trying to tackle it as quickly as best they can. But you can see properties right there, Ellen. They are going up in flames as we speak. It was absolutely insane. I don't even understand how it could have happened until firefighters and police came to the scene they investigated after they put out the fire and all that good stuff well it's not really good stuff but after they done all of that stuff they let me know that they believe it's arson somebody's done this with malice intent and i have no idea who it is but whoever you are just know just know i'm gonna find you you thought i was in the house with my children and you wanted to burn me and my children up police have tried to link this case to my children's father's incarceration so pretty much what we are putting two and two together is that somebody set him up or something um and then they tried to kind of wipe me and my children off the grid and so pretty much we are playing investigating if we're playing investigation and I'm I'm the investigator right now, uh, just trying to figure out what's going on. Why did my house burn down? Who burned down my house? All of that good stuff. But I will say the greatest thing to come out of this entire thing is my jewelry. Let's get into it. So about a day or so later, I did go back to the scene just to look through everything to see if there was anything that I could salvage. Any of my baby's items, my items, anything at all. But sadly there was nothing except my yagi heart bracelet set i can't even tell you guys how i felt in the moment when i seen that it was untouched it kind of looked like the glowing art item in like a video game when you know you're supposed to pick something up that's what it looked like it's the only thing that had like color and life into it when i saw it it didn't have a scratch on it it didn't have any burns it didn't even look charred like the other stuff that was around it you know what i mean it was just sparkling and glistening with the little peaks of light of the sun that was poking through the remains of the house my bracelet was still intact and i can't say how grateful enough to yagi i am for the amount of quality and the amount of effort that they put into their jewelry i will never miss an opportunity to shop with yagi ever again especially because they have such a beautiful store that just looks and exudes luxury you know what i mean like you go into their store you see all of these different types of jewelry you see necklaces bracelets earrings rings zodiac necklaces whatever it is that you may be looking for i guarantee you yagi has it they keep their jewelry at a nice price and i think it's absolutely worth it for the quality as you can see i had a house fire and my jewelry survived the house fire what yagi thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for putting so much quality into your jewelry you can always catch them at different events like cake day dream day etc and yeah thank you guys 
for being so great. So currently we're just sitting in the car. Lonnie just ate some Popeyes and I just fed the baby. And now we're just kind of figuring out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I think I wanna take Lonnie to go get her nails done and I wanna get my nails done as well. Y'all know I keep a basic nail set on. Um, I don't wanna say basic, I love it. My nail tech star, love her down absolutely beautiful so i usually kind of like get the same thing because it just eats every time but i think i want to try something different this time and you know just kind of pamper ourselves we really deserve it it's been a really long couple of weeks so i just want to get back into the groove of feeling happy and feeling good um i am in the process of looking for a new home clearly because my house burned down um it's really unfortunate i really loved my home but i guess that just wasn't the home for us and that's okay so right now we're just kind of staying mostly wherever we can whether that's in hotels or at their father's house which is the main place that we've been staying at but i do understand that like that's not our space 100 percent so yeah while we are on the search for a new home and everything i am just gonna continue living my life as I would normally of course I'm gonna take care of the things that I need to take care of it is unfortunate that all of this had to happen right now and I just want to say thank you guys for being patient with me and just sticking with me through this hard time right now and yeah I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and to check out Yagi, it will be linked down in the description box below. They have such amazing jewelry. And as you can tell, as it survived my house fire, amazing quality. So it will survive a house fire, a car fire, a campfire, okay? Make sure you go check them out. So we have finally made it back to the house. It's been a pretty long and eventful day. It's been really fun just spending time with Lonnie today. I did take the baby over to my cousin's house so he could be watched by her. I just needed the little bit of space. So please, if you're a mother, then y'all know. Sometimes you just, you need a little moment. Lonnie, she's a bit older, so I can kind of handle her. And I just wanted to take her to get her nails done, her feet done. Um, so she could just have like a girly girl moment. Of course, she's not getting all that long, you know, super long nails or nothing crazy like that. But I wanted her to have the manicure and pedicure experience and, you know, what it feels like to be such a girly girl. I just love that girl. Like she has so much personality and she is just not afraid to speak her mind or what she wants, what she don't want. And I love that about her. Um, I really can't wait for you guys to get to know her even more and just get to show you guys what I get to see, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much it. We did end up getting some foods, but we came back to the house cause we were just tired and we were like, you know what? Get our showers and stuff going and just be comfortable for the rest of the evening. So that's what we're about to do for the rest of the evening. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Thank y'all for so much love and support. Make sure you guys like the video, comment down below, share with your friends because it's what helps us stay not homeless. You know what I mean? So, and currently we are homeless, but we're not homeless, homeless. We're, we're going to be all right. And eventually we're going to get a new home someday. 
um but thank you guys so much for your love and support thank you thank you so much and be sure to check out yagi's main store it'll be linked down in the description box along with their marketplace um and even check out their instagram so yeah i love y'all so much and we gonna see y'all in the next one peace